Qualitative Analysis of Carbohydrates Solubility Test Glucose Using a spatula, take a small quantity of glucose and put it in a test tube. Take about 3 ml of distilled water in a dropper. Pour it into the test tube and shake the test tube well. Glucose completely dissolves in water. Sucrose Using a spatula, take a small quantity of sucrose and put it in a test tube. Take about 3 ml of distilled water in a dropper. Pour it into the test tube and shake the test tube well. Sucrose completely dissolves in water. Starch Using a spatula, take a small quantity of starch and put it in a test tube. Take about 3 ml of distilled water in a dropper. Pour it into the test tube and shake the test tube well. Starch is insoluble in water. Molish's test Glucose Take Molish's reagent using a dropper. Add about 6 drops of Molish's reagent into a test tube containing 2 ml aqueous solution of glucose. Using a dropper, take a few drops concentrated sulfuric acid. Add it slowly along the side of the test tube without mixing. A red-violet ring is produced at the junction of the two layers, acid layer and test layer, indicating the presence of carbohydrates. Sucrose Take Molish's reagent using a dropper. Add about 6 drops of Molish's reagent into a test tube containing 2 ml aqueous solution of sucrose. Using a dropper, take a few drops of concentrated sulfuric acid. Add it slowly along the side of the test tube without mixing. A red-violet ring is produced at the junction of the two layers, acid layer and test layer, indicating the presence of carbohydrates. Starch Take Molish's reagent using a dropper. Add about 6 drops of Molish's reagent into a test tube containing 2 ml suspension of starch. Using a dropper, take few drops concentrated sulfuric acid. Add it slowly along the side of the test tube without mixing. A red-violet ring is produced at the junction of the two layers, acid layer and test layer, indicating the presence of carbohydrates. Feelings Test Glucose Take 2 ml of Feelings Solution A using a dropper. Add it to 2 ml aqueous solution of glucose taken in a test tube. Then add 2 ml of failing solution B into the test tube. The solution turns a deep blue color. Remove the test tube from the rack using a test tube holder. Place it in a boiling water bath and heat for few minutes. Glucose is a reducing sugar that reduces the Cu2 ions in the test reagent to red precipitate of copper oxide. Sucrose Take 2 ml of failing solution A using a dropper. Add it to 2 ml aqueous solution of sucrose taken in a test tube. Then add 2 ml of failing solution B into the test tube.
The solution turns a deep blue color. Remove the test tube from the rack using a test tube holder. Place it in a boiling water bath and heat it for few minutes. The color remains the same. The test is negative, indicating that sucrose is a non-reducing sugar. Starch Take 2 ml of filling solution A using a dropper. Add it to 2 ml suspension of starch taken in a test tube. Then add 2 ml of failing solution B into the test tube. The solution turns deep blue color. Remove the test tube from the rack using a test tube holder. Place it in a boiling water bath and heat it for few minutes. The color remains the same. The test is negative, indicating that starch does not contain reducing sugar. Benedict's test Glucose Take 2 ml of Benedict's reagent in a dropper. Add it to 2 ml aqueous solution of glucose taken in a test tube. The color of the solution turns blue. Remove the test tube from the rack using a test tube holder. Place it in a boiling water bath and heat for few minutes. Glucose is a reducing sugar that reduces the Cu2 ions in the test reagent to red precipitate of copper oxide. Sucrose Take 2 ml of Benedict's reagent in a dropper. Add it to 2 ml aqueous solution of sucrose taken in a test tube. The color of the solution turns blue. Take the test tube using a test tube holder. Place it in a boiling water bath and heat for few minutes. The color remains the same. The test is negative, indicating that sucrose is a non-reducing sugar. Starch Take 2 ml of Benedict's reagent in a dropper. Add it to 2 ml suspension of starch taken in a test tube. The color of the solution turns blue. Remove the test tube from the rack using a test tube holder. Place it in a boiling water bath and heat for few minutes. The color remains the same. The test is negative, indicating that starch does not contain reducing sugar. Tollens test Glucose Take 2 ml of Tollens reagent using a dropper. Add it to a test tube containing 2 ml aqueous solution of glucose. Remove the test tube from the rack using a test tube holder. Place it in a boiling water bath and heat it for 10 minutes. Glucose is a reducing sugar that reduces silver ions in the test reagent to elemental silver, which is accumulated on the inner surface of the reaction vessel, producing a silver mirror on the inner surface of the vessel. Sucrose Take 2 ml of Tollens reagent using a dropper. Add it to a test tube containing 2 ml aqueous solution of sucrose. Remove the test tube from the rack using a test tube holder. Place it in a boiling water bath and heat for 10 minutes. There will be no characteristic change indicating the absence of reducing carbohydrate. Starch Take 2 ml of Tollens reagent using a dropper. Add it into a test tube containing 2 ml suspension of starch. Remove the test tube from the rack using a test tube holder. Place it in a boiling water bath and heat for 10 minutes. There will be no characteristic change indicating the absence of reducing carbohydrate. Iodine test 
glucose. Take a few drops of iodine solution using a dropper. Add 2 drops of iodine solution into a test tube containing 2 ml aqueous solution of glucose. There will be no characteristic change indicating the absence of starch. Sucrose Take a few drops of iodine solution using a dropper. Add 2 drops of iodine solution into a test tube containing 2 ml aqueous solution of sucrose. There will be no characteristic change indicating the absence of starch. Starch Take a few drops of iodine solution using a dropper. Add 2 drops of iodine solution into a test tube containing 2 ml suspension of starch. The color of the solution.